is the American Conference champs in 2022. Uh, I think it was kind of like, kind of just in the moment at first and then just looking up and seeing the trophy, it was kind of just like all the dreams, all the work, everything we you know went through as a team, it just kind of put a smile on my face. You know, it, it panned out how, how we wanted it to and you know, just a, a feeling that, you know, it's tough to come by. The single biggest one season turnaround in college football history accomplished. A conference championship season manifested. An improbable Cotton Bowl comeback complete. Can you believe it? It's Nine. the biggest win all time for the Tulane Green Wave. For Tulane quarterback Michael Pratt, success is all built on the foundation of that seven-letter word, believe. And in his first trip back to the stage of the program's biggest bowl game in 83 years, he was brought back to the moment when belief became reality. I've watched all the plays uh, over and over again, and, you know, just reliving those moments and, you know, just the experience with all the guys. And, you know, it's something that you can't get enough of. A program that in 2021 was displaced by Hurricane Ida from New Orleans to Birmingham, Alabama for nearly a month, finishing the season with a 2-10 record, but somehow believed all of this was possible. You know, obviously there were a lot of things that we, we accomplished, you know, goals that we set. But I think the biggest thing for me was kind of, you know, coming off the season prior to last, setting those goals and seeing, you know, all that pan out and everything that we talked about, everything that we put into perspective, all the work that we did and getting to those points was something that was just really special. And, you know, I think it's something bigger in life, um, just one of those lessons you can learn. A lesson Michael learned as a high school senior from a best friend and former teammate, Bryce Gowdy, who at 17 years old committed suicide December 30th, 2019. You know, he was a guy that just meant a lot to me in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, he was a great teammate, he was a great friend. In every sport I've played, um, I've always kind of been the guy to push everybody else around me and try to be that leader. And Bryce is one of the very few people that has ever consistently every day after I've told everybody, let's get some extra work, let's do this, let's do that. He'd keep me out there on the field till it was pitch black. Hey, throw me another slant route, throw me a fade ball. Let's work on this, let's work on that. So just a guy that, you know, didn't come from a lot and earned every single thing that he got. He wore number seven and that was always kind of his motto was believe in seven and uh, just something that I wanted to have and you know, something that always crosses my mind. He's a guy that I want to be like and a guy that you know, always motivated me and made me the best version of myself. Now entering his senior season, Michael carries the torch as a motivator and leader for a Green Wave team with high expectations. Well, obviously the quarterback has a lot to do with your uh, success. You know, and he's just, uh, he's a servant leader. I, I use that phrase when I talk about him all the time, but he is, he's always looking to see how he can help other people. And it's not about him and brings his teammates with him. And uh, just an outstanding young man. We're lucky to have him. I've had to have a couple conversations with him on, you know, some of those plays where the quarterback's kind of getting out in front of the, the block around like an end around or something. Just, you know, you don't got to throw that block, man. We need you for the next play. You know, he wants to gain that, that extra yard or two. And, you know, sometimes he, your body's a little bit more important than that. And that's how he just goes about his life. And he, he does everything, you know, striving to be the best. To be the best, you have to beat the best and after going head to head against the reigning Heisman Trophy winner and coming out on top. The Tulane quarterback is in the conversation to make a run as a candidate for the nation's most outstanding player in all of college football. Tulane fans and alumni are already campaigning Pratt for Heisman. The slogan, believe in seven. I knew it was a, a thing, but it's not something that I've had locked in my head, but it's you know, for me, it's just trying to take each day, day by day, and, you know, not worrying about tomorrow, worrying about what I can do to be better right now and in the moment and, you know, throughout the rest of the day. Number seven's focus isn't on any individual honors. Instead, it's on his individual lasting legacy. I want to be known as, you know, a guy that all my teammates, you know, have good things to say about me because that's really what matters is, you know, football ends at some time. And I just hope that 
what I do off the field and what I do in the locker room, you know, is something that's that my teammates are able to be influenced in their life and uh, be able to impact other people in positive ways and make a difference for a positive manner in their life.